We are set up to create a more complex effect, so let's begin. We have already dragged the Gaussian blur and merge nodes into our workspace and connected them as shown. Take a little moment to view the structure. The Gaussian blur node allows us to blur an image or parts of an image. A dialog box opens when we double click the Gaussian blur node. The radius slider controls the strength of the blur. Low values remove only small detail whereas higher values remove more detail. The quality slider controls the smoothness of the effect. The higher the value, the smoother the effect, but higher values also slow down processing. We shall set radius at a value of about 50 and click OK. When Gaussian Blur is used along with the Merge node, we have an incredibly powerful tool by which to create effects. When we double-click on the Merge node, a dialog box is shown with an opacity slider and a menu of merge types. If we look at the Merge node, we can see two inputs. The top one is the original image and the lower one is the blurred image from the Gaussian Blur node. The Merge node allows us to combine both these inputs in different ways. In other words, it allows us to combine the original image with the blurred image. The way in which these two inputs are combined is chosen through the blending modes or merge type and opacity. Different combinations of blur, blend and opacity impact the original image in different ways. Sometimes certain combinations produce softening results, whilst other combinations produce edge, effects and sharpening. Gaussian blur and merge nodes are fundamental to effect creation. We have already set Gaussian blur. Now let's explore a variety of combinations of blend modes and opacity using the blur setting. At this point, simply observe the results. We shall select the Dark and Blend mode and set Opacity at a value of approximately 0.7 for our purposes. Let us see what happens if we repeat the process like this. Open the new Merge node and select the Extrapolate Away Blend and set Opacity to a value of approximately 0.1. Other combinations of Blend and Opacity would give different results. But let us stop here as we have now created an interesting and usable effect by just using Gaussian Blur and Merge nodes. In the next video we will add texture to our effect and give more control over colours. We can save this stage of our progress by going to File and selecting Save As Session. When we open this file in the next video, we will be able to start from where we left off. This is not the same as publishing an effect, but it is a great way of creating effects in stages. In the meantime, try doing what we have done here for yourself. As always, have fun!